God bless you. You know, I give God thanks for this evening. It's a privilege to be here one more Tuesday. And I can say, having obtained help from God, I continue until now. You know, God has been good to us. You know, when we look outside and see the sunshine, in everything the Bible says, we have to give thanks. And I just want to bless his name. I greet you all, brethren, in the wonderful name of Jesus. You know, God <laughs> is so good to us again. But before I go any further, I would like to ask if Sister Cynthia is there. Sister Cynthia, could pray the opening prayer, please. Oh, bless you. <clears throat> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, kind and heavenly Father. Lord, another time we do humbly come before you, Lord. I want to give you thanks again for your goodness. Yes, thank you for your mercy. Thank you again for your love. Lord, we want to thank you for another day, Lord. Thank, thank you for the breath we breathe. Thank you for keeping us in the right mind, Lord. Lord Jesus. God, when we look at ourselves, Lord, it was of your love towards us, Lord. Mm -hmm. We don't know where we would be, but we just thank you. We are grateful. Thank you, dear God. Lord. And we don't regret, oh God, serve you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, this is the best way, Lord. Oh God, we just worship you this night because you are God and you are worthy to be praised, oh God. We ask the Lord, oh God, as we mm -hmm. come before you again another time. Yes, it, Lord. We must pray without ceasing, oh God. Mm -hmm. you again this afternoon. Lord, oh God, Mr. Dell, Lord, as you will lead up, Lord, we ask you to grant utterance, we pray. Oh God, strengthen your God, we pray, oh God. And those who pray, Lord, that they will be led, continue of your spirit, Lord. We just thank you, we worship you, we adore you. Oh God, you have been so good to us, oh God. Thank you for being the lift up our thank heads. You, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Someone said, when all around my soul will give way, then you are our hope and our stay, oh mm -hmm. God. Continue to fence us in, Lord. Oh God, mm -hmm. for us, Father in heaven, we are living a perilous time. Lord, yes, when Lord. the devil is out, Lord, oh God, walking about, seeking who may devour. Oh Lord God, we ask you to continue, Lord Jesus, to fence us in, come to keep us, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, we continue to serve you, oh God. Bless us again, we pray. And we Thank give you. Yeah. Every glory, honor, and praise in the name of the Father, the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. And we say, Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Cynthia, for that prayer, because prayer is very important. The Lord bless you. You know, this scripture came to my heart as I was told to um, moderate this prayer meeting. And the scripture that came to my heart is um, Job chapter 3. And verse 8 to 10, and St. Matthew chapter 11, 1 to 4, and Romans chapter 8, and 26 to 28. And as you know what Job has been through, and each way he called to God, he cannot feel him. And it came to my heart to ask Ella Thompson, please, to give us a word of encouragement. I'm going to read this scripture. I'm not going to take long because I know that is a hour, and we need to finish on time. But Ella Thompson, is Ella Thompson there? I'm asking you, Ella Thompson, please to give us a word of encouragement to the brethren. And I know in the meantime, you're encouraging us. Then the Spirit of God will encourage you too. And I just read, um, I read Job, it just came to my heart. I just read Job 23 and 8, 8 to 10. Behold, I go forward but he's not there and backward, but I cannot perceive him on the left hand where is at work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him, but he knoweth the way that I take. And when he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. And I just read St. Matthew, St. Luke, sorry, St. Luke 11 from verse one to verse four. And it came to pass that as he was praying in, this, in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us, how, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, 
when he pray, say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in heart, so in, in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that's in debt to us and lead us into temptation okay. and deliver us from evil. And I just read Virgin Romans because Ro in Paul was teaching the Romans brethren and he was encouraging them. And verse Romans eight and verse 26 to 28. Likewise, the spirit also helped in our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we hold, but the spirit himself make it intercession for us with groanings, which cannot be hutchered. And he will search at the heart, verse 27, Romans 8, 27. And he that searched the heart, knoweth what is the mind of the spirit, because he make it intercession for the saints according to the will of God. 28, for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them, who are called according to his purposes. And Bridget, as this um, scripture came to my heart, I'm just looking at what is going on in the world today. And we have been taught by our elders to pray our father, that is the prayer. And I look at St. Luke 11, as Jesus sees from praying, disciple, one of his disciples came unto him and said, is to teach him how to pray. And Jesus said to him, the way are we how to pray, is our Father who heart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And I look, so many things has been happening. And there are times when things happen to us, we have to ask God to forgive us that we don't have debt against who have hurt us. And I was looking at it, Virgin, in Job, what Job has been through. Then Job has been calling, was having a conversation that, you know, he has been calling unto the Lord at this direction and where he always find him and this moment what he has gone through he, he, he cannot hear him and he feels as if he's on his own but in his heart you know that he is going to choose a way because that way that he is choosing you know that God knows it and and one day he believed by faith is going to come out and when he comes out he's going to come out as pure gold and as I as the scripture came to my heart then it came to my heart to ask Ella Thompson to encourage us as the brethren. And I believe by faith in the meantime, is encouraging us Then the spirit of God is encouraging him. Elder Thompson, God bless you. Lord bless you brethren. Sorry, uh, someone was not in my mic to front door. Um, I want to greet you all in the wonderful precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Giving Great God time. thanks for his goodness and his mercies that he's, he has bestowed upon us this day. Um, he has kept us from all dangers, harm, and seen and unseen. And as a Lord prayer has um, been mentioned, we sometimes we really need to acknowledge or look back over the day and see the various temptations and evil that he has kept us from. And for Amen. this, we should give thanks, even as we are called from a world of care. And in this, as it's right, it says in this sweet hour of prayer, a call from the cares of life and to meditate upon him this, this evening. And as um, Sister, the Lord has mentioned, um, we, as we come together, we need to acknowledge consistently, always, that yes. um, whatsoever is happening around the world today, it's being that prophecy is being fulfilled, or we see the fulfillment of prophecy, and we are on the verge of the coming of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. One of the things I would just like to encourage our hearts 
the Bible says that let not your heart be troubled. Amen. This, mo this morning, we uh, woke up to the, to the news that the trains aren't working and there's a strike and overpay and so forth. And the whole network is, is, um, is down, so to speak. But regardless of what's happening, we yes. need to continue to encourage our hearts and look up to the hills Amen. from where which cometh our help. Amen. And we need to analyze what's happening in our own individual lives. What happened to, say, a year ago, some of us were in some dire straits that when you look around, Everybody seems to be prospering and you yourself not prospering. Not that you're wor uh, worried about prosperity, but there are certain circumstances that's happening to us even today that the underlying factor in our lives is that we have the peace of Christ in our hearts. And it has enabled us that peace that passes all human understanding it's an enabler to go through the going through that we find ourselves in. When we see the various attacks from the adversary and the various circumstances that the devil would use to take away your joy, uh, we need to remind ourselves that whatever is happening, we should not lose the joy that the Lord has placed in us or the peace that the Lord has placed in us. The, the, the joy, the Bible says, of the Lord is our strength. So we need to continue holding, the, holding on to the joy that the Lord has placed within in our hearts, the peace that when you're supposed to be crying, there's that, 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 that um, tranquil behavior that you find within your spirit that Although you're going through the going through, there is that underlying peace that keeps you calm and peaceful with yourself and even those who would want to accuse you. So my encouragement to you tonight, today is that let us continue holding on to the peace and the joy and the love that the Lord has placed upon us. Romans 8 says, what shall separate us or what can or who can separate us from the love of God? Let us always bear in mind that God loves us and, he, and because of his love for us, we cannot be separated from him as long as we're walking in righteousness and true holiness. May the Lord bless you. May cause his, continue to cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Amen, brother. Amen. Mr. Dale, can you put your mic back on, please? I had to turn it off. So. Thank you. God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ella Thompson, for those words of encouragement. Bless the you. Lord bless you. And we're going to go into some session of prayer now, and I'm watching the time. But before we go, Sister Shirley, can you sing a verse in the course of this song? This is the blessed hour of prayer. Just a verse and a chorus because of the watch time is um, from the redemption 582. Tis the blessed hour of her when our hearts slowly bend. Is Sister Shirley there? Yes, she is. Show you my. Yeah, sorry. Yes, Sister Joe, I can hear you. Yeah, just... um, because it's um, four verses. So um, just yeah. saying, um, I saw this with you. A verse yeah. and the chorus, this is a blessed yeah. hour of prayer. Then yeah. I ask, I'm going to ask Mother Dolly, please, to pray after Sister Shirley. Thank yeah. you. Tis the blessed hour of prayer when our hearts lowly bend and we gather to Jesus our Savior and friend, Jesus, with a sympathizing heart, mm -hmm. he removes every care, mm -hmm. 
What a bomb. What a bomb for it's the so weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Blessed hour of prayer. Blessed hour of prayer. Jesus. What a bomb for the weary. Oh, how sweet. Oh, how sweet to be there. Blessed hour of prayer. Thank you, too. Blessed hour of prayer. What a bomb. What a bomb for the weary. Jesus. Oh, how sweet to be there. What a bomb for the weary. That's your call. Oh, how sweet to be there. Hallelujah. Praise the Jesus. Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless, Bless the Lord. Bless, you, Bless the Lord, brethren. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Lord. Mother Dolly, would you pray, pray please? Thank you. We praise God. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Precious, loving Father, oh God, we thank you for this blessed hour of prayer, oh God. Truly, thank when God. our hearts slowly bend, when we come to Jesus, our Savior and our Amen. friend, we thank you, Lord, that you're a wonderful friend, a friend that sticks even closer than a brother. We bless your name. We thank you for this privilege, Lord, that we have, that one more time, Lord, we can gather ourselves together in no other name but the name of your precious son, Jesus. We lift you up, O oh God, and high. We bless your holy name. Indeed, thou art God, and beside you there is none other. It is you who woke us up this morning. It is you who allow us to have the breath in our body. It is you who cause us, oh God, even to say thank you. You said in every situation, Lord, we must give you thanks and we bless your holy name. You are a wonderful God and we thank you for your precious son, Jesus, the one who laid down his life for his friend. Lord, the word declares that greater love had no man than this, than that a man should lay down his life for his friends. Lord God, I thank you that you did not withhold your son. And today we have this privilege of having redemption, oh God. We thank you that although God, you are so great and big, you come to abide in our heart, oh God. And we just want to thank you for your Holy Spirit the spirit whom you said, Lord, when Jesus go away, he will send a comforter to us. And we thank you, Lord, that we are not comfortless, but we are comforted to know that he abides with us, that he will never leave us, neither will he forsake us. There may be times when we may feel as though we are all alone, but we are not alone. You promise that you will never leave us, neither will you forsake us. Hence, we have this blessed assurance, Lord, that no matter what we may be going through, no matter what the circumstances are, Lord, we can, hallelujah, glory be to God, we can be still and know that you are God. And we can put our confidence in you, Having this confidence, Lord, we know, dear God, that we can come through whatever it is, oh God, because we know that you are God who is mighty in battle and you never lose a battle as long as we trust you and we believe in you, oh God. Lord, you are there to fight for us, oh God. You know that in ourselves we are weak and helpless. But in Christ, we are strong. You said, let the weak say, I am strong. 
Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done. And truly, you have done great and mighty things for us, whereof we are glad. Lord God, I bless your name today, O oh God. You have brought us through many dangers, toils, and snares. And Lord, here to you have brought us. We, we don't know, Lord God, what is before us, but we know that you go before us. Dear God, you are the one, oh God, who is, uh, oh God, leading us, just as you led the children of Israel in the wilderness, oh God. They were not alone. Lord God, you guided them, oh God, when it was so difficult for them, oh God, when Pharaoh was behind them, the sea before them, they did not know which way they will go, but you made a way, oh God. And because you are the way a maker, Lord, you can make a way, oh God. You can, <clears throat> Lord, you can supernaturally, oh God, do mighty things for us as you, you, oh God, cause the waters to congeal and your people to go through the dry land, oh God. Lord God, when Pharaoh attempted to cross, he was drowned. And so, Lord, we know that we can trust in you, dear God, despite whatever the situation is. Henceforth, Lord, we would continue to praise you. We would continue to glorify you, O oh God. For, Lord, when the praises go up, Lord, the blessings will come down and God, you will get the glory because we know, Lord God, that all glory, praise and honor belongs to you. Father, because we know that in ourselves we can do nothing, but we know that because we trust in the true and living God, we trust in the name of Jesus the name that is above every other name. And when we call upon that name, God, you stand to attention, oh God. Your air is open, praise be to God. Glory, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Your air is open to the cry of your children. Lord God, when a mother, oh God, has to look after a child, and something goes wrong with the child, that child sometimes would cry. And no matter how many, how many children will cry, the mother can distinctly, oh God, know which, is, which child belongs to her. And she can, oh God, pay attention to that cry. And so our heavenly father, his ear is open to the cry of his children. Someone said, pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hallelujah. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, please do not pass me by. And we are asking you, dear God, to stop by here this evening. It's not just another um, prayer meeting, as it were. It's not just for us to assemble together, though that is wonderful. But, Lord, that you will hear our humble cry. I don't know, Lord, what your children may be going through, but God, as they cry out to you this evening, as we cry out to you, Lord, I pray, dear God, you will hear our humble cry, that you would hear an answer. Lord, that we would come believing you. For, Lord, you say, he that cometh to God must believe that God is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Lord God, we know there was a time when, Lord God, some of the um, Peter and John was in prison, oh God. And when they prayed, oh God, Lord God, you made a way for them, oh God. We know, Lord, there were people praying, oh God, for the release of Peter in one place. And God, when he was released, they, they did not believe that, that, that God, you could hear and answer their prayer. We don't want to be unbelieving Christians, Lord, but we want to believe in the God who, who does great and mighty things. You're a miraculous work in God, and your ways are past finding out. 
truly, Lord, your ways are indeed higher than our ways. Your thoughts, they are higher than our thoughts. When we think that you would come through a certain door, you will come through another way, oh God. Lord, you're so mysterious. God, you're mysterious working, God. Therefore, Lord, we put our total trust and dependency upon you, oh God. Father, I want to thank you for how far you have brought us and where you will be taking us. We pray, dear God, that you would anoint us afresh, oh God, even with the oil that ran down, oh God, from the head of Aaron right down to his feet. For we know, God, that it is the anointing that breaks the yoke, oh God. We pray, dear God, that every yoke, oh God, that is binding your children this evening, Lord, we pray that those yokes will be broken, that you will indeed set the captives free, oh God. Lord, we pray, dear God, that you would remember the poor, the hungry, oh God. Father, we thank you, dear God. We know how to abound at times and we know how to abase, oh God. And we pray, dear God, that in the same comfort, the same love, the same way you have taught us, Lord, that we will take this out as the witnesses, oh God, of Lord God, that we will remember those who are in need, oh God. Father God, I pray in a time like this, in uncertain times, God, we trust in the certain God, in the true and living God. We know it is perilous times, oh God, but in the midst of the Lord, this perilous times, oh God, you have not changed, oh God. You remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. You have brought us through this pandemic season, oh God. And even though still, oh God, there may be things going on, you are keeping us, oh God, because we are kept, not because of the bread we eat or the water we drink, but it, we are kept by the power of your word. We are held by your word. Your word gives us, your word is spirit and it is life. And you promise that you will give us life and life more abundantly. You have taken some of us out, oh God, from sicknesses, oh God, from dangers, from toils and snares. And you have brought us thus far. We pray, God, you continue to, to keep us, oh God, keep our souls, oh God, we commit ourselves to you, dear God. You said you're able to keep that which is committed unto you against that day, dear God. We commit and surrender all that we are and all that we owe, whatever we are, oh God, we commit it to you because we know, dear God, we cannot keep ourselves. So therefore, God, we would commit ourselves and the keeping of our souls into your hands. All that, all that pertains to us, oh God, our homes, our families, oh God, our children, everything, dear God, we surrender them to you, oh God. They are just loaned to us. And dear God, we just want to thank you for all the blessings that you have blessed us with. But we would be mindful to know, Lord, that we must always give you the praise because it all things belong to you. Blessed be your name. I pray this evening, dear God, that you continue to strengthen the brethren. You continue to strengthen our ministers, oh God. Some are not well, oh God. We pray, dear God, that you would put your loving arms around them. God, that you would comfort and console them. You will strengthen them. Then, Lord God, you said, when thou passest through the waters, you will be with them. Oh God, through the flood, it will not um, overflow them. When they go through the fire, Lord, they will not be burned. Lord God, we know that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Lord God, they were placed in a fiery furnace. But their God, not a hair of theirs was singed. We also know of Daniel in the lion's den. Oh, God, and of the various, oh, God, people who have been through, oh, God, various things, oh, God. Father God, you have kept them, oh, God. You, even though they had to pass through difficulties, oh, God, 
as we know, Lord, some through the fire, some through the flood, and so forth. But yet, Lord, you've kept them. And God, because we trust in you, we know that you will not put us to shame. Oh, God, therefore, tonight, Lord, we put everything in your hands. We pray that you would strengthen, oh, God, those, those oh, God, who are weak, oh, God, those who need assistance, oh, God. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit will visit them wherever they are, oh, God. Time and space is nothing to you, dear God. Therefore, God, we pray that you will reach them at this time, oh, God. Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful, Lord, that you could, you could remember one like me, oh God, even an idolater. Oh God, bringing me through, oh God. Father God, allowing me to know who Jesus is and to, oh God, to give my life over to him, oh God. I am eternally grateful and I pray God you'll continue not only to keep me in this pathway but each and every one of us whom you have called oh God blessed be your name many of us were doing our own thing but you you remembered us oh God even from the foundation of the world you knew that we would be here today and that you know who would serve you from who wouldn't serve you oh God and I pray, oh God, that you would help us to be faithful, oh God, right to the end, oh God. Someone says, Lord, you didn't, oh God, bring us this far to leave us, Lord. Therefore, I pray, God, that you would continue to guide us. I pray you would bless the, um, our sister Sandra, oh God, Father, faithfully, oh God, Lord, at her post, as it were, continue to strengthen her, continue to uphold her. I pray you will rebuke every plan of the wicked one, oh God, every spirit of discouragement that may want to come to overtake, oh God. We pray against it in the name of Jesus. And we pray, oh God, that forward still will be Jehovah's will, even though the billows that dash and spray with a conquering tread, Lord, she will continue to push ahead and roll those problems away. I pray, dear God, remember Sister Shirley, oh God, remember her household, her family, her children, her grandchildren, glory be to God. Lord, we want to commit them to you, oh God. Lord, faithfully, oh God, she's been serving you despite the problems, the situations, Lord God, we pray, God, you will remember her, oh God. Father God, we pray, dear God, as she serve you, oh God. I pray, dear God, whatever things she asks in your name, Lord, I pray you will do it, oh God, because you said, ask. Ask that your joy might be full. Lord, these are not our words, oh God. You told us that we should ask. Ask is ahead of two, have you asked for nothing? Oh God, but you tell us to ask. And so tonight we are asking you, Lord, to perform those things on our behalf, oh God. Whatever we ask in your name, dear God, you said you will do it. And therefore we bless your name. We thank you. We have a, a wonderful father who, oh God, who hears, who hears our prayers, who answers, oh God. I don't know my earthly father, but I know I can take everything to my heavenly father in prayer. And my father who sees, he sees everything. He is so, so wonderful that he comes, oh God, to our rescue. Lord, even if you could see a little bird that fall from, oh God, fall to the ground, how much more us, oh God, who is made in the likeness an image of your dear son. Dear God, I thank you for this privilege that we have, have, oh God, this evening, that we could come and make our requests and our petitions known unto you, dear God. I pray, Father, that you would bless our sister Del as she moderates the service, continue to strengthen and uphold her. It's not easy for her, oh God. Oh God, having a child, oh God, whom she has to spend 
time with, oh God, but you know, and you have kept her thus far. Lord, perhaps, Lord, if she didn't have to attend to him, maybe I don't know what she would have done, but I thank you, dear God, that despite the, the, the difficulties, Lord, you are there with her, and I pray you continue to bless her and bless her household, dear God. Bless each and every one of our ministers, oh God, our Elder Thompson, oh God, who continually, oh God, would minister the word unto us, oh God, that we might be strengthened, that we might continue to abide in it. I pray you remember him, remember his household, oh God. Remember, oh God, and bless them, oh God, and keep them, oh God. Keep them even from the hour of temptation. Keep them, oh God, when they feel all their soul would want to give way, oh God. I pray, God, that you would bless our deacon Frank Seek and his family, oh God. And I pray, God, that they will continue to lift up their eyes unto the hills from whence come at their help, dear God. Continue to meet every need, O oh God. Bless the church, O oh God, I pray, as I commit, O oh God, each and every one in your hands, Lord. Remember all of our brethren, Lord. Father, if I were to name them one by one, Lord, it will be a, a long time, but you know them. Therefore, God, I commit us to you, and not only us, but your people everywhere in Christendom, all over, those who are crying out to you, Lord, meet them at the hour of their need, I pray. We thank you for this blessed hour of prayer, and we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Let the church say amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Have minutes. This few minutes that we have, it's on my heart to ask Mother Edwards available to pray the closing prayer. Mother Edwards. Mother Edwards is on, but I'm not sure if we've got. She's on, but I don't know if she's got anyone to. Uh... Is Sister Pam on? Yes, Sister Pam's on. Pam. I'm gonna ask Sister Pam. Sister Pam. Yes. yes. I'm asking you, I'm asking the pretty close in prayer, but in your okay. prayer, I'm asking you please to pray a special prayer for the Francis family. We all okay. going through the going through, but mm -hmm. I'm asking you please to pray for us. All of us have our different problem, but I'm asking mm -hmm. for a special prayer for the Francis family okay. as your closing prayer. God bless you. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Yes. yes, we can. Yes, we yes. can. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you and we lift up your eternal name. You have been good to us and you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. Where do we go when you are the one with eternal life? We thank you for the prayers that have been offered up for ourselves and each other. We thank you that we move, we live and breathe and have our being because you've allowed us this day. We thank you, O oh God, for clothes, for shelter, for food. Thank you. We thank you, God, for more than all, the redemptive plan, O oh God, and the gulf that you did span, and God, that you brought us to a place in you where we could have never brought ourselves, but you heard our cry. And you called us, oh God, and you answered. And this evening, oh God, as the request has been made, oh God, not that you don't hear, but you said we should ask. And it will be given. You, should say, you said we should seek and we'll find. You said we should knock and the door would be open to us. We place the Francis family before you this evening, God. And you know the winds and the waves obey your will, oh God. Amen. And we ask you to bid peace. Be still. And we ask you to open the doors that man would shut. And we ask you to shut the doors that the enemy would open. We ask you to lift up, oh God, and strengthen the feeble knees. We ask you, oh God, to bring peace to the troubled mind, oh God, and rest for the soul. We ask you, oh God, that your will will be done in this family's life, oh God. 
Lord, there's nothing impossible with you. And we know that you work in a mysterious way. And many times, oh God, we would come and call upon your name and say prayers and it would seem as if the tempest is raging. Oh God, and we know we see that the billows are tossing high, but Lord, we also realize that you sit in the ship with us. And oh God, we know that you care for our soul and you watch for our soul and it's not that you want any one of us to perish. We thank you for your gracious love towards us that even through the turmoil of life and through the winds and the waves, oh God, you're able to keep that which we commit into your hands. And we commit the Francis family in your hands again this evening. Oh God, and we ask you to hold them by your divine hands. And we pray as you hold them, oh God, that your truth would be their shield and buckler. We ask you that they'd hide underneath your everlasting wings. And Lord, they'd lift their eyes to the hills from whence cometh their help. Oh God, we understand that, Lord, through the troublesome times that they would go through, oh God, as Job did, oh God, it would be seem hard to lift the head up. It would seem hard to smile, but we know that it, we're able to do this only because of your goodness. Oh God. We understand that our souls belong to you and that, Lord, you've made us for your will and your good pleasure. And we understand that when you took your servant Job and put him to the test, oh God, it wasn't that, oh God, the adversary came to him, Job, but you spoke to the adversary on the behalf of your servant Job and you asked him if he had considered him. And we know that some of the situations that we go through, we don't even understand and know. We're not aware of what has happened, why we are going through some dark times, but God, we know that you work in very mysterious ways and we are tested and tried Oh God, through the journey of our faith in you. And oh God, we understand that when you took Job and, and you asked the adversary, have you considered my servant Job? Oh God, you didn't only ask, but you put Job to the test. And as severe as the situation was, Job was able to utter because his heart was towards you. Oh God, the worms eat this flesh, yet in my flesh I shall see the Lord. And even when his wife, oh God, the closest person to him would say to him, curse God and die. Oh God, he was, oh God, relentless as to hold on to you. Hallelujah. Oh God, we even understand when Abraham, you told him to take his son, his only son who he loved and put him to, oh God, sacrifice him as a lamb. Oh God. oh God, Abraham knew in his heart who you was. Oh God, so he stood steadfast even to the fact that he tied his, his son's arms and his legs, oh God. And the, the son being a proper child asked the question, oh God, in the reverential way, Father, here is the wood and here is the fiber, where is the sacrifice? And although, oh God, Abraham tied his hands and feet in his mind and in his spirit, his heart, he knew that, Lord, you would revive if it was that he had to put the knife through his yeah. son. And we know that in the conditions and situations that we go through, oh God, as faith followers, as ones who love you, that Lord, you haven't got no nothing in your heart towards us that is for evil, but for good. You said you have plans for us, plans to heal and not to arm us, oh God. And it would seem in a very mysterious way, in an awkward way, that Lord, we, you've got plans to arm us. But we know, oh God, as Paul said, we know in whom we believe. And he's established himself in you through his heart, Lord. And he said, neither height nor death, principalities nor powers, things present nor things to come would separate us from your love. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that as we bring the, the Francis family before you, as they hold hands and hearts, oh God, that Lord, they would still stand firm on your word. Though billows blow, and the storm is on the sea, Lord. They know that their heavenly father will take care of them. 
Take care of this family, we pray in the name of Jesus. Cover them and while on others you are passing, Lord, don't pass us by. Remember the gospel outreach ministry family, oh God, the house that you've built, oh God, in Muswell Hill, oh God, to be light on a, on a hill, oh God, to shed forth your word. We pray that you would remember every family, oh God, Thank every you. person that is going through the going through. We ask you by your divine spirit, that you would cover and you would lead us. Be a pillow of cloud by day and a pillow of fire by night. Oh God, wrap your everlasting arms around us, oh God, and help us to stand in your truth, oh God, and that we would gird up the loins of our mind, oh God, and that your element of salvation, oh God, would be placed upon our head, firm and straight, oh God, and looking to you who is the author and finisher. We love you. We worship you. We lift up your name. You have been good to us, God. Thank You've you, been Jesus. so good to us. You've been better to us than we ever have, could have been to ourselves. We could have never made it this far without you, oh God. So oh. we ask you to continue to be with us, continue to let your presence flow amongst us and around us. Oh God, individually as well as collectively, Lord, be with us, continue to be with us. Let your presence sit with us, oh God, in the four corners of our homes. Oh God, remember our children. We pray for protection of our children. We pray for the minds of some of our children, oh God, which the adversary has caused a disturbance where they're not even knowing what is left to right, what is up to down. We pray, God, that you would intervene and you would break and loose every hole. Thank you. We Jesus. pray that your divine spirit, oh God, would Thank break you, down the idols, you'll cast out the foes, oh God, yes. as we say in the name of Jesus, oh God, and that you'd get free preeminence in our lives. Mm -hmm. Have your sweet divine way. And Lord, what we fail to ask you, fail not to grant it to us and let your will be done. For thine is the kingdom, the earth is yours. And the fullness thereof, God, you know exactly and know where and how and what is going on. You're not blind to any situation. Oh, God. And the, the, the earth is yours and the fullness thereof and everything in it. Have your sweet way and help us to trust you where we cannot trace you. Oh, God. And even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, help us, Lord, so that we will not be afraid. For we know that you're with us, your rod and your staff, you comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. The very fact that a Tuesday, again, we're sitting here in our clothed in our right mind. Oh God, we know that you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You've anointed our, elves, our heads with oil and our cup still runs over. We're able to still say, Abba, Father, we're still able to give you thanks and glorify your name. Have your sweet way, we pray. As we tell you thanks, oh God, and as we leave from this platform, Lord, continue to go with us, oh God, and be with us. Bless each and every home. Remember the ministers who are the voices crying in the wilderness. We pray that you comfort, keep, and guide, oh God, as we lift up your name continually in the precious name of your son, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, I don't know if it's Sister okay. Shirley or Sister Sandra. Sister so, Shirley, you did the announcement. I'll just close, yeah? Yes, it's praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Tell, for leading out so graciously for us. God bless you. Oh. Praise God. The announcements are as follows. That, um, on Thursday will be our Bible study on Zoom at 8 o'clock. Praise God. Um, also, 
next week, next week, Sunday's lesson, our Sunday school lesson will be, the topic will be encountering deception and persecution. Scripture reading is taken from Acts chapter 4, verse 34 through 37. Acts 5, Thanks. verse 1 to 11, through to 11. Our golden text is Acts chapter 5, verse 39. God bless you, brethren. God bless God you. Bless you. God, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Dolores, for leading our, our prime meeting today. God bless you. It's beautiful to have you today leading. God bless you. I know it's not an easy task, but God was got you recovered and led. Thank you, Sister Cynthia, for opening prayer. Brother Lero for a word of encouragement relating to Job chapter 3, Luke chapter 11, and Romans chapter 8. Brother David, it's lovely to see you. God bless you. We love you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for your musical rendition, Pastor Shirley. It's a blessed hour of prayer. Mother Dolly's prayer for the privilege of redemption. Um, and a fresh anointing on the brethren and Sister Pamela's closing prayer. God bless you. Thank you for the closing prayer for the Francie family, for the our family, the GOM family, and for our children. God bless you, brethren. And at this time, can we all pronounce the benediction together? At the words Amen. of our Bless you, brethren. God bless you. Bless you, brethren. 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 Bless you,